Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patranya. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're talking about my recent trip to the Thai grocery market. And the one here in Seattle is in the Rainier Valley. It's called Mekong Rainier. And it's a great Thai market. Whatever ingredients you want to get to make Thai dishes, this is definitely the market to go to. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I got there today. All right, so we are gonna go back to this, but I kinda of wanna lead off with this because this is a crazy high snack that I found there. Sleep fried crickets. Uh, if, you, if you traveled to Thailand before, you may have seen these in their outdoor food markets that they sell these fried crickets. That's kind of those crazy snacks that people have to try. Now they actually package them, and I'm gonna talk about this as part of my snacks uh, that I got here at this market in a little bit. But we're gonna start with some fresh ingredients that I got because we're gonna be making some Thai dishes soon. And these are some of the things that I needed at the market. So one thing that I actually been looking for are these mackerels. We recently went to my girlfriend's Hannah's house and she actually made a Korean meal and Korean people actually eat mackerel as well and she actually steamed them so I actually wanted to make steamed mackerel to try that out and see how that goes because when I was growing up in Thailand we actually eat a lot of mackerel we'll eat them fried mackerel with rice and they're actually called bla tu and um, now I'm actually gonna try to steam them and see how that goes now along with other fresh fruits I got today um, vegetables I actually got some sweet basil so you can get that. And one thing about going to a Thai market or any Asian market really is that they can be really inexpensive compared to regular supermarkets. And I got all this whole big bunch of basil for $1.50. So I got this here. I'm actually gonna make a dish called Pat Gra Pao, which is basil stir fry with ground chicken. So I'm gonna be making that recipe coming up here in a little bit. So um, stay tuned for that, but I'm gonna make this uh, with that dish. And another thing that I got in the vegetable um, fresh ingredients section are these Thai chilies. And I'm gonna use this in the Pat Gra Pao ingredient as well. Because I've had actually friends ask me about fish sauce because they know that people use Thai people use fish sauce with most of the dishes we eat. And they are asking me what brand to get. And usually I get all kinds of different brand, but I was actually looking for a smaller one this time. And uh, this is called, called the Squid brand. And this is pretty good. If you're looking for a uh, fish sauce, the Squid brand is not too bad. Oh, I wanted to show you one thing, which um, I was actually telling one of my friends at work about it and they thought it was kind of weird, but I actually got into quail eggs recently. So these are uh, eggs, like hard boiled eggs, but they're small, they're little ones. But when I was eating them, like I really like the taste. And I was doing a little more research on these quail eggs and they say they actually have more protein than chicken eggs, but you, you're not supposed to eat more than five or 10, I think, per day. Them, And you can find them now at regular supermarkets as well. And I've seen them, I think it's Safeway and Fred Meyer, because it is good for you. Supposedly good for your vision as well. And also for treating coughs. And I've been having really bad coughs and I've been eating this for the past few days and my cough has actually gotten better. So I think there's something to that. So I'm actually gonna make um, pad thai for a dinner party tonight. And so I had to get some rice noodles. And I think you may have watched my video on my channel on how to make easy pad thai. So this is the base of it. All right, and one um, seasoning that I wanna show you, it's kind of a, a topping. I'm trying to think of what to call this. But this is a ground rice powder and it's seasoned ground rice powder. If you've had a Thai dish called la before, and which is kind of a Thai style meat salad, you can make it with ground pork, ground chicken. So what's great about these Asian markets is they can make things really, really easy for you when you come to when it comes to making Thai dishes. Let's go to um, some of the snacks that I got. Uh, they have a lot of different cool drinks aside from soda. Try this Pennyworth drink. So um, this actually, I read a little bit into it. It actually has people use them as a health tonic, good for your skin, uh, anti-aging, antiviral. For me, it's, it's, it's not super sweet and it tastes kind of herby, kind of like an herb drink, but um, a really good one. So this is one drink to try, but there's so many different types of drinks you can get at Asian markets like mango or guava you know those are some of my favorite and one of the things that i found in the past few years are these things called kanom kakai which means um chicken legs and i'm not really sure why they call them chicken legs maybe they're just kind of long and skinny then they come in different flavors this one is called hot chili and um this one is seaweed flavor so you can get different flavors when i go visit my family in thailand i would bring tons of them back or if they come and visit i would ask them to bring me back these biscuit sticks and now i can buy them right here in the US so that's fun 
This one I actually got for a friend of mine, Tracy, and she recently went to, went to Hawaii and she fell in love with taro chips and the taro chips that you eat with like poke, so they're kind of like savory taro chips. But I found these that um, Thai people love taro and these taro chips are actually sweetened, so they're kind of dessert taro. Um, so I'm gonna have her try that and see if she likes it. And okay, so this is what we've been waiting for. These are fried crickets. Crickets, yeah. If you have not had these, I've tried them a while ago in Thailand, but I have not, this is the first time I've actually seen this um, in a pre-packaged snack form. Uh, the brand is called Hi So, and it's pure protein. You know, I've always heard people talking about eating these things, insects, because they're pure protein. And this one is barbecue flavor, so they actually come in flavors, barbecue, and this one is cheese. So you know what I'm gonna do actually, I'm not gonna try them right now, but um, two of my co-workers, Riley and um, Bianca, we've been doing this taste test Tuesdays and we've been trying different kind of weird snacks. I'm actually gonna save this for taste test Tuesday. I, I would bet you they've never had this before, so this will be fun for having to try that. We're almost at the end. I wanted to show you one more thing and it's actually not food, but I actually got a bar of soap but they do sell this brand called Lux. Growing up in Asia this is the brand that I use and it's still very popular in many parts of the world including Asia and Lux is the brand that I grew up with and this is 99 cents so it's really cheap and it smells great if you want to go to a Thai market want to pick out a bar of soap then try this out and see what you think. So anyways so that is just a quick grocery haul at a Thai market. And I hope this inspires you to go check out your um, ethnic markets in town, whether it's Thai or Chinese or Japanese or Korean. There are just so many, especially you live in a city like Seattle. Um, if you have your favorite Asian staples um, that you buy when you go to these ethnic markets, let me know what they are. Well, thank you so much for joining me here on this video. And I hope you join me next time on Petronia Plates.